Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a moving, blurry, gradient background inside of Webflow. Let's do it. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna be building today. Just a very soft and subtle, gently moving, blurry blobs across the background of our page. This is a very common animation that you see across the web. We're gonna do this in two very simple steps today. It won't take long. Firstly, we're gonna create these blurry blobs, these gradient blobs that will move across our page. And then secondly, we're gonna animate them. So without further ado, let's hop right into Webflow. Okay, so I'm in Webflow now. You can see I just have a body and the only thing I've done is I've given this a background of a slightly light blue. You can make this any color you want. For this example, we're gonna go with a light. It's called Alice Blue. And that's all I've done so far. All right, so the first step is we wanna just drop in our div block. So Command K Div. Let's give it a class, Circle Real 1. Give it a height of maybe 70 VH and a width of 70 VH as well. I did that backwards, but you get the point. So make a nice little square. All right, let's position this absolutely so it floats above our background. We will put it in the top right corner. I'll give it a Z index of one because we're gonna layer all of these blobs on top of each other in different ways. Um, we'll just keep moving down. Now remember, a lot of these settings, this is just personal preference. There's not only one way to do this. I just wanna show you how to achieve generally this effect and then you can tweak it as you need for your project. So just keep that in mind as we go forward here. The background color, I'm just gonna give it this nice pink color, just like that. Radius, I wanna make it a circle, so maybe 50% radius there. Uh, I will come down and I just wanna blur this thing really, really hard. So I'll give it maybe, I don't know, 60 pixels of blur like that. And I'll even drop the transparency down a little bit just to really soften it up against the background. So maybe, I don't know, 70% transparency or something like that. Okay, so there's our first blob. So I'll just copy that, I'll paste it. Uh, I will duplicate the class, circle real two. Uh, make this one slightly bigger, so maybe 75 and 75. Um, I will drop this down to the bottom right corner. I will give it a Z index of two, so it sits on top of the first circle. I wanna change the background color to match the background color of my body. So I'll just come to this nice light blue here, just like that. Uh, and then I'll just kind of tweak these settings a little bit down here. Blur, maybe drop it down a bit, just to give it a little contrast. Maybe opacity down some as well. Although I don't think it matters because of that background, but you know, you can just play with this as you see fit. All right, there's our second circle. We'll make two more now. Same thing, same process. Circle, real, three. I'm gonna leave it absolute, go to top left here. Change my height again, maybe, just to give us a little variation, maybe 70 and 70. Um, leave my Z index as two. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one also light blue to match the background. And maybe I drop the opacity here a little bit or the blur slightly, but again, just kind of mix and match as you want. That should be good right there. Okay, let's do another one. Circle four, so just Command C, duplicate the class. Circle real four. Uh, let's drop this one down bottom left like that. Um, we'll make this one a little. Uh, we'll make this one a little smaller, maybe. Maybe 65 and 65. We'll change this background color back to that pink, just so we have a nice second blob over there. Um, and uh, maybe we'll change the opacity. We'll drop it down a little bit, maybe down to 50, just to give it really that soft feel just like that other pink one like that. All right, so that, that's looking, you know, that's looking decent for now. Now we wanna add one more. We wanna add a fifth one. So let's copy our fourth circle and let's duplicate one more time. Circle real five. And this one, let's make it slightly bigger. So we'll make it, uh, I don't know, 70 and 70 again. And we will drop our opacity even more, maybe down to 40. And then we will keep our blur maybe at 50. That'll, that should be good. But then let's get this one into the middle. So let's give it a little bit of margin here. Uh, you know, position it like this and then maybe go 30 over and then 10 down. That should get us kind of into the middle. Just like that, okay. So that's looking good. So we have our five blobs just like that. So we have three pink ones here and then two uh, background light blue, baby blue ones like that, all right? So that looks pretty good for now. Now, step two, we just need to animate these. We need to make these move subtly across our page on page load. So let's hop into interactions and set that up. Okay, so let's come into our animations here just like this and we're gonna add a page trigger. 
and we're gonna choose page load. So when the page loads, we want to start an animation. We're gonna start a new one. All right, we'll just call it, I don't know, blurry blob <laughs> movement background, something like that, all right? And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna move each of these blobs subtly across the page on page load, maybe over the span of about 10 seconds. All right, so we're just gonna do this for all five circles. Again, this isn't one set answer. You can move these as you want. I just wanna show you how I did it. So we're just gonna change our target here to circle one, and we're gonna affect the class. We're gonna set this as our initial state, and then we're just gonna change all these. Make sure that you just change these to 0%. That way it saves like that. Then we'll come in here, we'll add another move, um, again, change the target to circle one. And then we wanna do the class. And then we want this, this move to last about five seconds. And we just wanna move it across the X and the Y axis. So again, just play with the numbers here. I'll go maybe minus 20% X and minus 20% Y, just like that. And then I'll come down here one more time. We'll move it back to where it began. So it's a nice, beautiful loop. So again, we'll change the target to circle one, uh, affect the class, give it a duration of five seconds, just like that. And then we'll just make sure that it goes right back to 0% and 0% right where it started. So it just kind of moves and then goes right back, just like that. And that'll be a nice 10 second loop because we set our duration here for five seconds and our second duration is also five. So it'll be a nice 10 second, soft, subtle movement, just like that. And then we do this for all five circles. So let's do it. Go back to our initial state, move, change the target of circle two, just like that, affect the class, and then zero, 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 just like that. Come here, we'll move this one. You wanna move these in slightly different ways so they're not all moving in the same direction and you get that nice kind of random lava lamp feel. So again, circle two, just like that. Change the duration of five seconds, just like that. And maybe we'll move this one, I don't know, minus 10% and minus 20%. Okay, so slightly different than our first circle. And then same thing for all of them. We come back to the starting point at the end. So we'll just come back down here, duration of five, oops, and then 0% and 0%. Okay, there's a second one. Okay, so that's circle two. You get the idea. If you wanna to skip to the end, that's no big deal. I will have all of the settings listed down in the description below for you, so you can skip this if you want. But I'm gonna go through still in this video and show you how to do the last three. But go down into the description if you are understanding this and wanna move faster. Okay, so same thing now. We'll just come in here. We'll just keep adding our circles. Change the target, right click, circle three. Back to class, 0%, 0%. Come down here, move, change the target to circle three. Affect the class, duration of five seconds. And then this one we wanna move maybe, I don't know, 30% uh, right, and then maybe 20% up or something like that. Oops, let's go something like that. You know, again, just play with it. And then we'll come to the end. Remember, just bring it back to its starting position of zero, zero. Change the duration, and then 0% and 0%. All right, two more to go. Hang in there, guys, hang in there. We'll come back up to our initial state. Move, change the target to circle four. Affect the class, and we're starting our initial state at zero, zero, right at the origin. Come down here to our move section. Affect the class, duration of five seconds. And this one maybe will go, I don't know, 45% and uh, 20%, okay? And then again, as always, bring it back to the starting point. Circle four, affect the class, duration of five, and then 0% and 0%. All right, one more. Circle five, come back up to our starting position, move, and we're good to go, circle five, affect the class, 0%, 0%. Come down here, move, circle five, affect the class, duration of five seconds, 
This one maybe will go 15% and 30%. Like that. All right. <clears throat> and then last but not least, bring it back to the origin. Change the duration. And then 0%. 0%. All right. We will hit save now. And the last thing we need to do is we just need to make sure that we are looping this animation just like that. So just check that box right there. That way it loops back to the origin and then it runs it again and again and again. And your background will move in perpetuity. All right, so let's publish this and we'll check it out. We'll see how it looks. So we'll publish and then we will come up here and refresh. And there we have it guys. So you can see the background is just very subtly moving. Uh, it looks like a lava lamp. Everything's kind of moving on top of each other in different layers, levels. Some are blurry, some are transparent, some are not. Again, play with these effects as you need to get that effect you want. But this is essentially how you would build something like this. This is how you would build that moving, blurry background gradient inside of Webflow. So anyways, guys, thanks for being here. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video and you can really transform your sites and create this effect now in the background of your web page. So if you like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That'd also be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments. Let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can so we can get this effect live on your sites as fast as we can. Thank you guys again for being here. I really appreciate all your support. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.